What's up, Capricorn? My name is Lisa. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Ooh, we got the Two of Cups. Um, I started hearing. Ooh, look, and the King of King of Coins. That's you, Capricorn. Okay, so you could be hearing from someone. Ooh, there's a, then, then the Tower just showed itself to me. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So I started hearing Anticipation by Carly Simon. Anticipation. Ooh, Ace of Wands. For, ooh, there's like some sort of new beginning. Um, a fresh start. Some You get some sort of idea. There's a new beginning here. Hey, that tower card just keeps on showing itself. Okay, so things are heating up. That's what I just heard. All right, so this is, okay, let me get one card for, I'm just gonna leave that here. It's you, your person, and then the connection, okay? For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and then all um, Divine Love, Twin Flames, Soulmates. Okay. One card for Capricorn, please. Ooh, we're getting two. Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords. What? So, it's like... There's something hidden here. There's, ooh, and emotions, like. I feel like somebody's denying their true emotional fulfillment. It's like you're, but we have this ace of wands here that flew out. We're going to have to get clarifiers for this over here, okay? So this is like um, a disruption in your happy home. Oh, and there's the confirmation. Whenever my phone goes off, I always take that as confirmation for what, what's being said. It's like you're denying what truly makes you happy. All right. Or avoiding it or something. Okay, let's see. Give me one card for Capricorn's person. Eight of Wands. See, I'm telling you, things are heating up. There's some sort of communication. Hierophant. And again, the moon card. There's something hidden going on here. There's some sort of like, um, I don't know what, what I was getting was like, at first there's like this, there's a, there's an affair. There's like two people holding back from each other because of like some sort of, um, let me see, give me a connection. Yeah. Here's this page of cups. Okay. So this is this new beginning and this nine of wands. Okay. So there could be, It's almost like, this is what I'm getting Capricorn. It's almost like whoever you're connected to or your person is connected to, I feel like you both could be connected to other people and you're having um, your affair start off again. Like it's happening. Um, let's see. Let's, we got to get some clarifiers for this. Tell me about this seven of swords. Yeah. See the devil energy here. Somebody feels bound in, in some sort of marriage or commitment. And I feel I'm telling you, there is some sort of 
Like I feel Capricorn, you and your person are both connected or married to other people. And you may not have been speaking to your partner for a long time, but um, it's rekindling. Wow, what is this? Clarify this hair font. Yeah, see, look. See, there's this conflict about it, though, because I'm telling you, because either one of you or both of you is married. But the thing is, is that there's this love, this resurgence of love here that's like, um, I'm telling you, things are heating up. That's what they said. Clarify this page of cups. Yeah, because you both want to hold on to each other. Oh, but look at this Ten of Swords. Yeah, and here's this World card. You guys could have like some sort of distance between you guys. But this is rekindling. It's like you ended it in the past, but it's like you both held on to each other. And whatever this is, this is starting again. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. I don't know. I get like really. Yeah, look, you see, it's this Nine of Cups with the Seven of Swords. Like, this is your wish fulfillment, but it's like, it has to be, I'm, I'm hearing uh, something about what's done in the dark, something about what what's good for the goose is good for the gander or something like that. And look, here's this emperor card. It's like you both have been denying what really makes you happy and it's each other, but it's like, it's kind of really fucking sad because I feel like you guys are both committed other places. It's like you feel bound. Oh God. All right. Give me one card for Capricorn. You deserve love. And I feel like you're waking up to this Capricorn. And this is why you're going to start this again with whoever this person is. This person could be somebody who's like, they don't have to be married. They could just be like very spiritual. Okay. But this person loves you. I mean, this is like, I honestly feel like you both are committed elsewhere. That's just how it feels. I have to keep it how I feel it, right? Okay, give me one, one card for Capricorn's person. Staying optimistic about your love life. Because I don't feel like either one of you really feel good about what you're doing. Okay, it's like you both know that you're betraying um, the other people. But there's a scent that's like you want to hold on to each other. Look, see, you both know like each other are your ones. Let me see. Give me one card for the connection here. See, calling in your soulmate. Okay, you're doing this a day at a time. Listen, you guys could do whatever you want. You're all adults, right? Okay, but I'm being urged to tell you to do things the right way. Like, keep it clean until you separate from your partners. I don't know. L listen. There. Yeah, see? See, they're everybody like they're getting the world card keeps popping out. Your world card is down here, all right? Um, because I feel like 
possibly there was a, an opportunity. You guys could have ended this in the past, okay? You probably could have had an opportunity to break away from uh, your people and you guys chose to stay with your people, whoever, like your marriage or whatever. But now you guys are like starting to do good things for yourself. Like I feel like you're both kind of having some sort of awakening here and starting to work on yourselves and you're realizing like where you are isn't where you want to be. Dang. <sighs> All right, this is kind of heavy. And this is part of you taking charge of your life. It's taken you a really long time to come to this conclusion that you're just not happy where you're at. Like, I feel the resistance, like, even in saying it. Let me see. Give me um, advice for Capricorn. Look at the bigger picture. See, and I feel like that's what both of you have started to do. It's like while you've been away from each other, it was like this was what was meant to happen. Like you guys were needed to be separated in order to really see like what you were experiencing and what you're learning by staying with the people that you're with. It's, it's that you're realizing like, that's not where it's at. And so you're thinking about the long term. There's something, uh, oh my God, there's people that are not going to like this. I'm sorry, but this is what's coming through here. Yeah. Show the world the real you. See, I feel like this is about like, it's taken, um, someone a long time to step into their emperor's shoes and take control over their life because I feel like there's a decision. It's like somebody's about to make this choice. See, it's like, this is the cup they want. Some of you don't have to, be, some of you may be married and like this person like talks to several other people, you know, But it's like you guys are starting to talk again and realizing like you guys just want to be with each other. There's something going on here. Yeah, nothing is yet set in stone. So there's still some time to make this decision. But yeah, see, and adjustments are required. And I feel like you're both kind of like looking at this because you're understanding that you're going to have to leave your partners. And I mean, it's making you super emotional and, um, somebody's, uh, like, like, look at this very defensive. Okay. This, this could be your, your partners. Dang, dude, this is, yeah, see, look, three of pentacles. Yeah, you're reevaluating. You're trying to come to make this decision. You know what? This is this, you know, for this new beginning. Let me see. I want to get one more here. This is like, what else can you tell Capricorn here? Yeah, see, five of cups. Look at this. But you see how it's like, there's one cup. They're holding their own cup. They're sad. And then here's this three of cups. It's like in their head, they know like three of cups is all about like celebrations and reunions and, um, you know, having a good time. And this person has their cup and then there's one cup that's broken. It's, and they feel bad that they're going to have to break someone's heart in order to move to where they can celebrate their life. Like they feel bad. They know that they're, they're going to be breaking this person's heart. What's at the bottom? 
Yeah, that's that nine of wands. See, and here's this rest. What can Capricorn do to move forward in regards to this situation? Go slow. Go slow. Plan every step. They want you to real, like, evaluate your, yeah, but there's the emperor again. It's like, take control, make decisions, but move slowly. Like, there's, there's no need to rush whatever this is, okay? Because, um, it feels like a lot of, a lot of changes coming in here with this. I don't know. It's like I have like pressure on my chest here. I don't. Give me one more. Let your friends help you. Okay. So pray. Pray. Talk to your friends. Yeah. Children. That could be why you guys have like decided to stay in these other commitments. One or both of you is married here. Okay. But I feel like once you stayed in that marriage and ended your connection, your affair, whatever it was, it was like somebody realized like, oh shit, like I am not where I need to be. Like, I do not want this. But I still feel like the door is open. Like I still feel like anything can happen. It's just really a matter of what you want to do. But the thing is, is that I feel like you know, I feel like you both know you are each other's people. Yeah. Um, I just heard, but you're both still trying to decide what's for the highest good. Like, do you make a mind over heart decision or a heart over your mind decision? And this is why they're saying to go slow, Capricorn. And to look at the big picture, okay? You could still do whatever you want, okay? But but be, be, be true to yourself. Like, what do you want? And why? They said, and why? Ask yourself why. But somebody's definitely denying, hiding what really... Um, makes them happy. And it's like this seven of swords with this 10 of cups. It's like, it's like Capricorn. You're also like pretending. Okay. You're pretending that you're happy in some sort of situation, but it's really, you feel bound there. And you're waking up to the fact that you deserve love. And wherever you're at, it's not that. But they still want you to move slow. Okay? Yeah. All right, Capricorn, there you go. Let's see. Yeah, surrender to the divine. All right. Yeah, it's going to require faith. It just doesn't feel like, I mean, there's a new beginning here, an apology, okay, or some sort of reconciliation, and possibly you never thought that your person was ever going to talk to you again, but it's like, yeah. Pray. Pray, Capricorn, okay? Surrender to the divine. Know that nothing's yet set in stone day by day. Okay. If you have to do it like a minute at a time, you know, look down at your feet. Why? It'll remind you where you are. You take a deep breath, look up and do what's in front of you to do. Um, but you are in control of your life. Like I feel like, you know, who you love and what you want for your life. It's just a matter of Okay, so I know where my heart belongs or where who my heart who owns my heart. But like I said before, it's about like do I make a mind over heart decision or a heart over 
mind decision. All right, Capricorn, there you go. I love you guys. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. Bye.